Hey, welcome to the shop. Today I made a mini fire pit. I think it turned out pretty nice. I'm gonna show you how I did it. So we used to have a large fire pit, but it took up way too much space and so I got rid of it. The kids still wanna make s'mores and I was thinking you don't need that big of a fire to roast a marshmallow. So I came up with the mini fire pit. Now if you wanted to make a large fire pit, you could use the exact same design and concept that I used and just scale it up. So if you're seeing this and thinking I don't have a CNC machine, hang tight because I can show you how to get these made without one. Um, but this is the design. I drew it up on the computer and I'll upload it and link it down in the description. There are these slots in the sides and those serve a purpose of having a bend line across as well as mating with some tabs that are here on the sides at the bottom. So I've logged in here to sendcutsend.com and I've uploaded the design. So you can upload the design that uh, I shared down in the link below and order one of these yourself. I'll go ahead and click on quote, pick my material, mild steel. I'm going to do 60 thousandths of an inch and I need four of the sides here. And then add to cart and right there's my quote, just that easy. I'll continue and I'll uh, quote the bottom. Right here, mild steel, 60 thousandths of an inch, I need one. I'll add it to the cart, just like that. And then when I go to checkout, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get these without any post-processing. Save 5% right there, and I'm ready to go. My package will be here in a couple days with my own custom parts.
Hey, well thanks for tuning in today. If you haven't tuned in before, my name's Tim. I make welding videos here on my channel, so check out some of the other videos and subscribe if you want to see more. We'll see you next time.